You're so beautiful. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs>。Hi there, Reject Nation. I'm Greg Alba. I'm John Humphrey. We're gonna talk about the new live action version of The Lion King. I would like to thank today's video sponsor. They are lovely. Ridge Wallet, flash it, John. Yeah. yeah. Tell them about it, John. Well, the Ridge makes these nifty minimalist metal plated wallets. Yeah. They come in aluminum, titanium, and carbon fiber. They're、yeah. a great way to keep all your stuff in order, and、yeah. they fit in a front pocket or a shirt pocket.、Yeah. A lot better than sitting on a thick leather bulky wallet.、Yeah. And also, I mean, they don't stop there. They got these weatherproof bags. They got power banks,、yeah. knives if you need a knife. <laughs> yeah, John and I so, share that knife. But yeah, head on over to our special link in the description box.、Special. Get yourself a minimalist wallet of some sort. Get two wallets. And、uh, what's our promo code? Reject Nation. That's our promo code. Yeah, That's ridge.com/slash/rejectnation. Go there. Let's review. Support. This. Let's review the movie. All right, guys. Well, I don't need to go over the plot. You've probably seen the animated movie、the、at this point. Of you know how it all goes. <laughs> you know the story. I was really looking forward to this film. You know, like I'm not one of those people who's anti-shot for shot remakes、uh, with these Disney. You know, it's not really a live action film. I would consider this wants just wants you to believe it. <laughs> it wants you to believe it is. That's the whole point of it. For the most part, it's it's all visual effects. It's all CGI. It's animated. And what they did here with the movie was they essentially did the same movie. They changed voice actors except for one voice. Actor, which is James Earl Jones's Mufasa, which I understand why they didn't. You know, it's, it's James Earl Jones. It's kind of hard to replace the guy. They did the same story. They did it in a different type of animation format. That's kind of how I viewed it. Almost as if I was watching a like YouTube fan film、uh, where a bunch of creators got together to put together the most experimental fan film, which is okay. What if we did the Lion King with, with this new technology? With this new technology, yeah. yeah, with a different kind of animation where it looked very photorealistic. That question that people always pose. With these live-action remakes, I'm just going to call it that. All right, I don't want to get into all the semantics and technicalities of what this really is. That's what it's being sort of pitched as to us, right? When I was watching it, I was thinking to myself, like, well, yeah, what is the point of this? You know, early on in the film, when they did the opening of it with the circle of life moment, it hit me why I thought this would actually be a really cool film. Honestly, it didn't quite hit me, and even in the、yeah. trailers, what would make this pretty special? It was when Rafiki picks up Simba. I had the thought of, oh. That's part of what's cool about this looking realistic, because this would never happen in、this、real life. Never possibly. None, none、happen. of these animals would ever gather together. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> these yeah. animals would not get along. None of this would happen. You know, <laughs> beyond like the whole voice stuff, this is never going to happen in real life. Yeah. So it's pretty cool to see like the most realistic take we can have if these animals did get together and <laughs> they <laughs> reenacted the Lion King. You know. Oh, I, I see the point of the experiment now. The visuals, like, just get it out of the way, as everyone has been saying, have been mind. Blowing.、Mm-hmm. They're fantastic. It's beautiful to look at. Beautiful to behold. I'm hoping the movie gets the Oscar for visual effects. I just can't imagine、mm-hmm. another movie outdoing what they did here.、Yeah. The amount of times where I would get pulled out with the thought of, man, that looks so real. How did they do that? How did they do that?、Yeah. Is that a real lion? No, that's not. Okay, never mind. That's, that can't be real because of what they have here. It is one of those strange experiences where it's not necessarily bad that you got pulled out, but it is like such a feat that it's hard not to think about. There's times where it doesn't always look a hundred percent real,、mm-hmm. but there are times where it really does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and the the interesting thing for me is that I think this is obviously one of the most dazzling elements of the. Movie. It's one of the most breathtaking, and it's one of the most impressive. And I really like,、uh, just to give a little credit to John Favreau, one of the most unique things that the visuals do, other than bringing the story to life, embodying some of that nature documentary type shooting. Yeah, it feels like a and, National Geographic film or something. Yeah, like that. yeah. yeah. And, I, and I really liked those flourishes. On the other hand, I do think it's interesting going over from the traditional、uh, 2D animation, hand-drawn animation,、mm-hmm. to this format because it creates this kind of uncanny valley I've never. Experienced before because the thing is the way the action plays out, you know, is still pretty family friendly. So you have all these very <laughs> real looking things behaving in ways they wouldn't, and you don't have a human to ground it. We saw this done in the Jungle Book, yes, and that was really impressive. And it also had a human to ground it, so you don't have that kind of uncanniness to sure, it to、sure. sell 
the fantasy of it. And I thought that sometimes, while impressive, it would break my suspension of disbelief or something, the way everything comes together under the guise of being real. It's making this effort to be as real as possible, but at the same time, you're like, but this would never really happen. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and there's like no <laughs> blood, and yeah. there's no, like, the ramifications <laughs> of violence just aren't what you're used to. Yes. And then when you're shooting stuff like a nature documentary, but it doesn't behave that way, there is like an uncanny yeah. disconnect there. Yeah, I will say, though, in terms of like uh, the voice acting in here, I think Seth Rogen and Billy Eichner were the best parts of it for me. I definitely lost myself into the movie when they were around. Yeah, they brought the most life. They added something new to it because I'm not anti shot for shot remake with these films because I feel for the most part, these live action remakes have at least made the effort to do something different, to mm -hmm. do something new and have its own life, have its own personality be fresh and not just sit there reminding me of the original. You know, that's something I really like that Aladdin actually pulled off pretty well. With this movie, I gotta be honest, I think this movie is a crowd pleaser. Was, Our crowd was hyped like it was Endgame. People were cheering and clapping I'm, and weeping. My, my point with that is most of those people, I don't, I didn't get the impression they're press or influencers or yeah. whatever. They were just people. And man, they were like really living it up. Really loving it, yeah. And I think too, if you're someone who's just like an animal lover and loves those kind of nature documents, documentaries and stuff or how deep your Lion King nostalgia roots are as just a fan I really think you're gonna love it honestly I, I do the thing <laughs> for me personally I, I kind of found the experience a little hollow um, I, I'm not gonna I, lie <laughs> I did it was it's, it's it does almost nothing different there's like tweaks in dialogue there are some things that I thought were slightly enhanced in, in a more defined way like one thing I was thinking about in the car ride home was the relationship between Scar and Mufasa how I really felt that Scar felt robbed mm -hmm. um, from having the kingdom to his own. There's very little things other than it was like it was kind of like watching a weird animated recreation play. There's so much in this movie that has a lot of TLC in it. There's so much care and time and work put into bolstering the visuals and yeah. all these different things. And I feel like they paid the least attention to accentuating the story through all of this because yes. the weakest element to me is the emotional dramatic story. And it's weird to say that because it's pretty much the same thing. The only time the movie really touched me with heart or life or energy beyond what the score was doing and how beautiful the visuals were was when the comedians were probably riffing because yeah. that's when there were fresh character moments. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all for like the same beat sheet, honestly, you yeah. know, or, or and maybe adding like a scene or two or whatever. For most of the movie, I was just going, this is this is like the exact same movie, a hundred percent the exact same thing. And you said it in the car, it, it, it does breathe better somehow as the the original animated movie. Oh, the movie. original animated movie, like they, they do a lot of the same, there are certain, like the, especially in the musical numbers where they had to, you know, make it feel more realistic. So some songs were cut a little shorter. The way the, the montages in certain sequences, like I Just Can't Wait to Be King, were definitely executed differently because of the fact that they're going for this more realistic approach, as realistic as possible for this story, yeah. right? There are moments though where I'm like, well, actually if you, if you mirror, like in the stampede moment, you know, with Mufasa and yeah. Simba's caught in the stampede, I referenced in the car ride how there's that shot where Simba feels the stampede coming and it does this crash zoom on his face and you yeah. see the horror and they completely don't have that shot in here but they have like a bunch of other same shots in that scene. Yeah. It's like, look, yeah. that's the exact same shot, <laughs> you know? Yeah. But, they have, but they don't have that shot. The way they went into the stampede, I, I kind of felt like it was a play-by-play -play of the animated movie which meant that the breathing room, just it, it felt like it was a little bit rushed at times and they were like yeah. doing all the same notes but because it wasn't really making the effort to have its own personality or its own unique life other than the imagery it honestly rang a little empty <laughs> yeah it didn't really revel in the emotion and the pacing felt very mathematical to me yeah it just felt like they could have done especially for Simba and Nala something to endear us further than just the original it's, it's weird yeah. it's like I don't know how to exactly quantify it's like it. I like it because I love the animated movie and I like what they were experimenting with here and it reminds me so much of the animated movie <laughs> so yeah. I I don't dislike this movie. No. I, I, I feel like there's some people like I think really it's totally worth. I, I, I think it's absolutely worth seeing, and I do think that it deserves the Oscar for the visual effects. Like, and I do think it's a definite crowd pleaser. Yeah. If I were to describe my experience, it gave me exactly what I expected. Literally nothing more. Yeah, no, exactly, exactly. <laughs> and exactly. I could have used a little more. Yeah, the cast is good. The cast too. is good, like, but at the same time, it, it, well, I say play because almost 
all the dialogue, other than when comedians are riffing, are pretty much the same. It's interesting hearing James Earl Jones return and doing the same dialogue, just different delivery. And that's where the play reference comes into mind when you're like, oh yeah, I've seen another actor do that. I've seen another yeah, actor, another actor yeah. do that line. Mm -hmm. and, um, without, and that's like a lot of the movie. And yeah. <laughs> without enough of its own flavor or sensibility, it's almost too reverent to the original to me. Yeah, I thought they could have done something more to make it their own beyond safe translation of something. Yeah, you know? it's like the music's all great, the score's all great. But every... even the music, for me, I, I thought the music and the score were great. I thought the score did the heavy lifting for a lot of the emotion. You brought this point up about some of the voice performances, whereas you don't have the cartoon style emotion. You have the voice work. I'm so aware they're in a recording booth. You could feel how animated their voices are, but because they're going for photorealistic of the animals, their expression is not matching with the voice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and so. then multiply that by three when it becomes a musical number. <laughs> for me, yeah. I was impressed and appreciating them, but still in a moment where I was pulled out and going, ah, there's something not quite coalescing. And for a movie that w the whole point was to immerse you into a, a more realistic take on The Lion King, I never actually felt immersed into it. I know that this is just our opinions yeah. because I know plenty of people. I saw it. I heard it. I heard the tears in the crowd. Mm -hmm. I heard saw it all. I heard the laughter, the, the consistent applause, and for some reason I was there mm -hmm. going, why am I not with everyone? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I don't even think they had to make it different. Mm -hmm. I think they just needed to find a different balance of tone or yeah. of scope of well, world or something like well, that. Well, the thing is, this, this script and, and the what they did with the animated movie was it's all fine-tuned for the animation style. Yeah. And they didn't seem to try to really fine-tune or tweak all that much. There's like little, little tiny things I can remember that are, oh, this is kind of different. This is slightly different. Oh, they executed this a little different. What's this exactly the same? Yeah. Yeah, like and the best part of the, one of the voices is James Earl Jones. Where I'm like, that's in the animated movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, and I mean, there's there's more of that in the yeah, animated movie so, yeah. too. I would still say if you're gonna watch this, watch it on the big screen because Definitely. because of the vision. Possible. I feel like this is the kind of movie where critics will be lower on it and audiences will really love it. Mm -hmm. That's that's just the vibe I get. I'm okay with that. I don't <laughs> hate this movie by any stretch. I'm I'm just more like <laughs> no. I my 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 opinion my my feelings walking out was like I think it's really beautiful. I liked it. I wish I loved it, but. Yeah. It's worth Scene, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Every element of this movie works, and sometimes they all merge coalescently to make a really moving piece, but the rest of the time they kind of come apart a little bit. Yeah. And you can feel the seams. And because it was exactly the same, just it felt less energetic because the animation brings so much life. And then when you're doing the exact script from the animation and you're going for more realism, there's naturally less energy. No I, blood I, I was, and with no yeah, I was, realistic. I was times a, a little bit board whatever because you, you know the story <laughs> yeah. weirdly after all that i would still say go see, go it. see it i would still yeah. say like go watch it it's, it's worth it's, a... it's a weird thing to say after like being like yeah i found a little hollow but i would still say go watch it yeah to, to crib from uh from double toast i still think it's like a full price watch yeah, yeah you know? definitely well guys yeah see the lion king <laughs> what's the next one you want them to adapt you guys can subscribe to the real rejects click that notification bell <laughs> keep a lookout for more reviews from us and uh thanks for ridge wallet you guys are great Rich. see you guys.